So now that we know how to tape flappers, the next thing we're gonna do is learn how to tape a, a split or a bleeding tip. So I just drew a little mark here indicating that my fingers split at the top. Uh, and then we're gonna use this line here as a guideline um, because this particular taping technique requires that weaving pattern that we learned. So you're gonna use the smaller third side of the tape and then you're gonna, you're gonna tear off um, about, let's say like an inch and a half on this side. So you tear that off and you're gonna lay that down starting at the base of this first pad to all the way down to this crease, right? Uh, this, this crease right here and then you're gonna wrap that around the top and it's gonna go over your fingernail, okay? And this allows us to build an anchor. So if I had a bleeding tip, I would tape right over that bleeding tip. And then you're gonna grab another strip of tape and this one's gonna be a lot longer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear off um, maybe like a whole arm's length, okay? It's gonna be an entire arm's length. So I tore off an entire arm's length. So it's pretty long here. If I go here, you can see it's fairly long. And now I'm gonna do that weaving pattern. So as a reminder, how we're gonna do this is you're going to create um, the anchor. So you're gonna wrap it one time and then on the second time, you're gonna start the weaving pattern. So now you're gonna go diagonal down, around the back, diagonal up, crossing at the midline, okay? So we're gonna do that again, and you're just tracing that pattern, making sure that the lines kinda of stay parallel, diagonal down, around the back, cross in the front to right at the middle, and then you're gonna rinse and repeat. Make sure that your tape doesn't get all kinked up, otherwise it becomes a lot harder to tape. But you're just repeating this pattern all the way down your finger. And my tape is getting a little bit folded. Let me unfold that. Make sure you're taking your time with this. If you rush it, that's where you make mistakes and that's where you waste a lot of tape. Um, but you're just gonna rinse and repeat. So if I do that a bunch more. Then you get this weaving pattern and that's gonna help it stick on much more so that you can continue climbing. And again, remember I'm using this line as a guideline. That's where the, the tape crosses. Like so. You're gonna rinse and repeat. should look like so. Uh, and you can go all the way down to this base um, of this second pad um, and you can tape over this first knuckle or the DIP, the distal interphalangeal joint, because you don't really need this joint to be able to bend when you climb. And so if that's covered, you can still crimp, uh, you'd still be able to pull on jugs, um, that shouldn't stop your climbing. And so that's how you would tape a split that was on the end um, or a bleeding tip in that same manner. You're gonna do the weaving pattern after you anchor it down and you can go all the way down to this crease or the PIP or proximal interphalangeal joint. And that's how you're gonna tape a bleeding tip or a split.